In this Revit tips and tricks video, I'm going to show you how to use the group headers function to better organize your schedules. So if I just zoom out a little bit, so you can see we've got a sheet here and on this sheet, I've got a door schedule. So if we look at the parameters in this schedule, we've got family and type, we've got the width of the door, the height, frame depth, frame thickness, frame material, and a comment section. So let's say we'd like to group the width and the height um, into a, a dimensions group. And then we'd like to add the frame depth with the frame thickness and the frame material into a frame details group. So let's do that now. So if I double click on the schedule in the sheet view, it will actually take us to the, the schedule itself. So what we're going to do is select the width and the height column first. So select the first one and drag across to select both. Now, if you look on the ribbon, you have the option to group them. Press group. Notice you get an extra line added in above those two parameters. So now we can type in here dimensions. And we'll do the same if I just move across so we can see the frame parameters. So again, highlight all the columns you want in your group. Hit the group button on the ribbon. Notice you get a single cell spanning the three columns in your group. Click in there and we'll call that frame details. So let's go back to the sheet and take a look at the finished schedule. And there we go. You can see that it starts to, to get this better organized into reading the information. So dimensions grouped together into two columns and then all our frame details over three columns. I hope you enjoyed this Revit architecture video. If so, please hit the like button. If you'd like to be notified when new videos are released, please subscribe to this channel. And to see the full range of my Autodesk Revit architecture training material, including video courses and PDF ebooks, please visit the website at www.bimscape.com. You can also connect with Bimscape on the social media platforms listed here.